Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with MLB 13, the show, and we have got some Braves franchise coming your way right here as we face the Arizona Diamondbacks. So if you haven't gotten enough of Chase Field here in Diamond Dynasty, here we go. We're going to get a little bit more of Chase Field right now. And I don't know what it's been, but on the channel as of late, it seems like when I go ahead and I play a team in like Diamond Dynasty or something, that I go ahead and I play them in franchise mode too it happened with the giants just a little bit ago and now here we are with the diamondbacks just back to back full games of diamondbacks baseball all right so we're gonna get the game started off here chris johnson's gonna hit this one it's gonna roll into center field and he's gonna get on first base you guys know that the braves have been rocking it as of late and it's all been about what we see early on in the game if i can reduce ian kennedy's confidence I'm in pretty good shape. Justin Upton now up at the plate. This one going to roll over to short. And that one is not going to be fielded well at all. So now we got Johnson on second. Justin Upton on first. And Jason Hayward now comes up to the plate. All right. Still in the top of the first, of course. 0 1 count here to Hayward. This one rolls into right field. Bases are going to end up being loaded. No, I'm going to head for home. So the Diamondbacks have a couple poor fielding moves just back to back, and that's what allows me to be able to go ahead and come home. And we're still in a position right now to be able to keep these runs coming. Unfortunately for me, though, that's not what ends up happening. Here we are in the bottom of the first. Going to be going here with uh, Medlin here to start the game for me. Bunt on the ground, McCann picks it up, makes the throw over to Freeman at first, and that is an out. So I like being able to see that here. Bottom of the second 0-1 count here. Still up one and nothing. Here is going to be a hit for the Diamondbacks. That goes into left field. So we've got to make the throws over. I always like making sure that if we've got somebody on first, I still get the ball over to first or second or whatever just in case some type of glitch happens and they go. I'm good, but whoo! That's a great throw right there from Hayward and Wright. I love it when he throws out somebody at first, and it seems like lately the velocity of his arm has really been able to pick up because in some of the episodes of this that I've been playing, he just straights up lobs it over to first. So when you straight up lob it, of course, you're not going to get anybody out, but that one was a good throw. Top of the third now, Angleton Simmons. Going to hit this one on over to right. That's going to be a ground rule double. Unfortunately, again, not able to capitalize on that at all. Bottom of the third here. Diamondbacks laying down yet another bunt. Johnson charges it, makes the throw over. It is not going to be in time. Man, I don't know if that's just because Johnson was slow right there or if it was because of his arm. But anyway, Kennedy up at the plate. You can see he's trying to go ahead and bunt. He's definitely showing it right now. But the thing is, is whenever you're going up against somebody who's trying to bunt on you, you got to make sure that you throw on different parts of the plate that could be really close. All right, so right here, low, lays off of that one. But I was... Uh, throwing it higher up on the plate here just a second ago. That ended up working. Now we're going to try, see if we can do it one more time here with the four-seamer. There we go. He pulls back, and that is a strike. One-two count now to Kennedy. Probably should be swinging right here. All right. Ooh, he's laying down the bunt again. All right, four-seam fastball inside. That bunt goes foul. So he's going to end up being out. That's why I was thinking he was actually going to go ahead and just full-on swing for it. But apparently not. All right, 2-1 count. Prado hits this one on the ground. Ugla to Simmons over to Freeman at first. Double play. So we destroy anything that the Diamondbacks were trying to put together right there. 0-2 count now. High fly ball. Ooh. Is that one that I should have dived for? I still haven't been able to get diving down at all in this game. I don't know when to do it. I know when to jump if I'm trying to rob a home run or something. But I 
I mean, and I know what button to press to dive. It's just a matter of, is there anything that is an indication of when I should go or anything like that? Bottom of the five, or bottom of five, two outs, broken bat. Johnson charges for it and makes the throw over to first. That will go ahead and end the inning. Still been able to shut out the Diamondbacks here as we're in inning number six. Justin Upton takes this one into center field. So he'll be on first base. Now, with Justin Upton, do I try to go ahead and steal? I mean, that is the question. Ian Kennedy doesn't necessarily have the fastest pitches. But Hayward's going to hit this one into right. I'm going to go ahead and round second head over to third. If there was nothing going on, if it was fielded correctly, I wouldn't have been able to make it there. But I'm glad that I did. Runners on first and third. Freddie Freeman now up at the plate. Has a good chance to be able to get an RBI. This one goes deep into center field. And that one is going to get caught. All right. So even though we were able to string together a number of hits, don't have any runs to be able to show for it. Bottom of eight. Still one nothing here. Hill with a deep hit into right field. I hate seeing that. Yep. That is a home run. I tried to jump up to rob him, but I wasn't even close enough to the wall or anything like that. So Diamondbacks now on the board. Medlin goes ahead and ties it up right there. So absolutely devastating. We've had, you know, some innings, of course, where we've seen a few hits out of the Diamondbacks. But nothing, of course, quite like this. Hill. Gosh, just getting it done for the Diamondbacks here. Just making sure they stay in the game. Very, very clutch home run. All right. Got to get the run that I need to go ahead and retain the lead. I'm going to go ahead and bring out Medlin right now. I was going to try to see if I could get, you know, like a complete game shutout or anything like that with him just to kind of help uh, boost how the team looks. Maybe we'll be able to get a Cy Young Award winner. Helps him, of course, get to the All-Star game, which I think will be kind of cool to see how many of the Braves make it there. But I'm going to bring in Eric O'Flaherty now. See if uh, he can go ahead and finish this game off. All I got to do is just flip the batting switch on and finally start hitting the ball. But the Diamondbacks are going to make a change themselves. Patrick Corbin now comes in. So Kennedy really, really... Uh, destroyed me here from innings two on to nine. All right. So a base hit. Got another chance, of course, to be able to steal right here. So you better believe with Justin Upton. I'm looking. I'm looking. Pick off a tenth. Honestly, he knows exactly what's coming. I mean, it is no mystery that I'm going to be heading for second base. So he's actually thrown over to first. I think that's time number four now. Probably should have swung at that one, but that's okay. I am safe at second. Justin Upton gets there. I was just thinking, though, if I would have been able to go ahead and crush that pitch, if there wasn't a home run, it probably would have been hit into the gap or something, and I still would have been able to get to at least second base. Maybe even go ahead and round third. That would be nice. All right. Still in the top of the ninth. This one is going to get caught, so that is going to end the ninth inning right now. So we are in the bottom of the ninth. Now the Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks are in a pretty good position. Walk-off home run, walk-off hit right now. Anything like that could go ahead and help them. So Goldschmidt now up at the plate. Was able to strike him out earlier. With Medlin, I was able to get some strikeouts. I mean, nothing to get really too excited about. If you just saw the number um, of strikeouts that he got, you'd figure, oh, hey, average game, right? All right, that one goes foul. All right, so O'Flaherty is in a good position against Goldschmidt here. 0-2 count. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, keep a changeup outside. We're pretty close to outside. Swing and a miss. All right, Jordan Walden now is going to be coming in here for the Braves. Figure it'd be smart to bring him in right now. Don't want to go ahead and you know exhaust my bullpen or anything. 
But Angleton Simmons with a bad fielding play right there. Finally was able to stop the ball and make the throw over to first. So I guess that wasn't a complete loss here of a play as he was able to go ahead and stop that pitch from going into the outfield. That might have ended up being something like a double. All right. So Walden kind of struggling here. Got to make sure the confidence doesn't dip down too far. So here we are in inning number 10. Another base hit. Not going to be in time over there at second. Kind of wonder what would happen if I had thrown over first instead. Of course, they can't go back and change it or anything like that. But uh, Still in bottom of 10, 0 one count. Pops this one straight up. McCann able to get underneath it, make the catch. And here we head into inning number 11, Angleton Simmons, who's had a pretty decent game thus far. Hits this one into left field. That's going to uh, fall just short. So Angleton Simmons now has got to go ahead and uh, play catch up here to some of the stolen bases that we've been seeing from a few other players. So he's going to head over to second, a swing and a miss, and another off-balance throw by Montero. And, yeah, so runner on second. Again, not able to bring him home. I think that's the third time in this game, you know, that I've had somebody on second not able to bring him home. Martinez now going to try to see if we can finish this game off because, honestly, O'Flaherty was going through energy pretty quick. We're just going to go ahead and step on first for the easy out. Martin Prado coming up next. Pretty, uh, pretty stressed right now about how this game could end up. There's so many possibilities here. How many innings are we going to go to? Are we going to go into like 18, 19? I don't think I've ever played a game that long. Are we going to be looking at like a walk-off home run or anything like that? i got to be careful. That's why I'm going ahead and you know trying to throw a little bit lower in the strike zone here and, and stay away from throwing high just to avoid... Uh, you know, any type of pop-ups or anything like that, or maybe just get a good, good hit on the ball and just send that one out of the ballpark. So that one works here. We're looking for yet another K for the Braves. Martinez just getting it done. All right. This one goes on the ground. Johnson charging again. Bare hands it, makes the throw over to first. Again, not in time. Who do I blame on that one? I don't know. I don't think there's necessarily anybody. Um, but it's okay. Heads over for second. That's my play. That's what I do. Man, everything just seems so backwards now. I'm not able to get any hits going. I've got the computer stealing bases on me. This is not the game that I was expecting. And this puts me in a dangerous position because if I give up a hit or anything like that right now, we're looking at game over. That one goes into left field. Not going to be able to make the throw home. So the Braves end up losing this one here to the Diamondbacks. A well-fought game. Absolute great pitching by Kennedy. He is the reason why the Diamondbacks were able to win today. So I appreciate you guys watching. I definitely do. More, of course, Braves franchise to come later on. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that, jazz, all that great jazz. Just make sure you check the description below. But thanks again, you guys. I appreciate it. And as always, I hope you have a good one.